Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So a quick uh, Java interview question. Very, very simple. I know a majority of the people can easily solve it with a simple loop. You have to calculate the average of array using a simple loop. That everyone can do that. But we will see the Java 8 is streaming APIs. And then we will see one uh, class and method coming from a Google Guava library also. So let's a very quick video. I just thought of creating okay, for you. So let's create one integer, for example, any array. For example, let's see the number array, which is uh, equal to, let's see, any number, any random number, I'm just picking it like this, okay? And we have to calculate the average. So average means first you have to uh, get the count of uh, the sum of all the numbers divided by the array length, right? So how will you get the sum of all the numbers? So I simple, do one thing that I just maintain one, maybe a total variable which is equal to zero initially, and then I'll start a for loop. For or for each loop, I can use it. Uh, we have integer type of data, for example, the data e, and in this particular array, and I simply say that okay, find that whatever the total that you are maintaining, which is equal to, uh, keep adding with the e, and then I simply get that. Um, uh, directly I'll just print it on the console that average is whatever the count that we are getting it you now that is the total count that we are getting divided by the number dot length it means how many elements are available in this particular array right this is what we this is how we get the average of any number of elements right first we calculate all the sum and then divide by number of length over here like that so let me just ignore one bracket extra now let's run it let's see what is output we are getting it so the average is uh, three that is what we are getting it and i do one thing that uh, system dot out of print ln i'll just print total also over here so what exactly the total that we are getting divided by total number of uh, values over there 27 and let's see how many values are there one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine elements are available and 27 divided by nine is equal to three so average is three which is like quite simple you know basic logic that we have written now to calculate the average of array elements now let's start with the java 8 okay we can use the streams and within one line you can simply solve it so what exactly you can do that you simply write arrays dot a stream method you can use it and what is your array name the array name is number and dot average and that's it so this average will give you one optional double class reference over here so i'll store inside the optional uh, double for example let's see average which is equal to this so optional double we have to import from java.util and then this particular average now you can use it how exactly average dot there is a method get as double method you can get it see okay so within two lines of code you can simply get it so you can see average is 3.0 obviously it's coming as a double over, over here so 3.0 is coming like that okay let's add some more numbers let's see five and then six then comma nine and then comma ten so let's see what is the count that we are getting the count is 57 average is four but in double it will give you 4.38 like that so this is more powerful why because we are maintaining one integer we can maintain one double also that's okay but uh, this is a better average that we are getting it we are not ignoring after point values so this is like really good java it streams you can uh, use it over here then we have uh, one more that is for google uh, guava apis google guava library that you have to add in my previous video i also have told you that you have to add this a guava jar file that you can download it you can right click on your project go to properties and after that you go to java build path click on library and click on add external jar under your class path make sure that okay this google guava library is available or not after that apply and close you can download this jar file from internet now with google guava there is a class that is called double math double math dot there is a method a mean method is available mean of what mean of all the numbers 
that we are getting it and then this will give you a double average over here so let's see i'm simple writing double average one which is equal to this and this average now you just print it on the console system dot out print ln let's see average one and let's see what exactly i'm getting it so here also exactly same thing that you are getting it so this also you can use it and uh, java streams also you can use it over here and this is the typical way of basic of writing the basic logic over here with the help of for loop and then get the length and then get the count and then divide by length which will give you average also like that you can do that okay now i'll just do one thing instead of integer i'll just make it double so that we will get the exact average over here so now let's run it see this is also exact average with the first simple logic also we are getting it exact average so like this also you can do that with java streams and google Java apis also so that's all for this particular video guys thanks for watching navina automation labs i hope you guys are learning something from this from this particular series and from the channel and please subscribe to the channel press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video and i'll be coming with some amazing content on this channel keep watching and stay tuned and be safe till then take care and god bless you all